Welcome. Welcome back to Teach Your Law class. It's the fifth mathematics series. And today we'll be continuing to talk about chapter 4, number, representation, and calculation. And this is part 2. And for part 2, we'll be start involving in the tips to make you professional. And the first one is number basis and computation. And these number bases and computation, I will divide into two parts because it's kind of long. And today we'll be just, just focusing, knowing what is number bases, and we'll try to learn how to convert from base ten to other number bases. And of course, we also learn how to convert from num other number bases to base ten. So don't be amazed, but let's try to learn about it. So first, you need to know that the number that we usually write, something like 17 or maybe 25, yeah, those numbers that we always write are actually base number 10. Base 10. Okay? So 17, 25, maybe 154, maybe 232, yeah, those numbers that we always write in our daily life are actually base 10 and when we call it as base 10 actually we need to write a 10 on the bottom here but of course we use it daily in our daily life and we know that there's base 10 that's why we we are lazy yeah no so we don't write it but when we talk about in these sub chapter sub topics we need to write those base 10 okay why because we might experience other bases like base 2 base 8 base 5, base 6, base 16, which we might be confused with if we doesn't write this base 10 here. Okay? And just for your information, if it is base 10, you will write 10 here. As example, if it is base 2, we will write here base 2. And of course, if it's base 8, as example, base 8, we will write here 8. Just that easy, okay? Base 16, maybe then we will just write here 16 okay that's all so now first now we need to learn about how to know what what to know about this base 10 of course okay let's look at here base 10 we we'll look at base 10 here you can see that i've listed down here 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 a b so what's that mean okay when we talk about base 10, just look at here. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 will be the A, right? So let's circle the A, which is the number 10, and just draw a line here, okay? Yeah, until 9, 0 to 9. Remember, the number that you will see in base 10 is only 0 to 9. That's the meaning, okay? Just, just like, just like here, when we write a number, you, you, you will see always like zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, right? And the next number will be ten, which is the combination of one and zero, and you will not see a, right? And that's the meaning of zero to nine. It belongs to base ten. Okay, no need to be confused. And let's look at it for the next one. Base two. Base to look at here 0, 1, and 2. So circle the 2 and draw a line from 0 to 1. This means that when we look at a number that is base 2, we can only see 0 and 1. Okay, so for example, you can look at the something here. Okay, the exercises here 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, base 2. That is base 2. And you can see that there's nothing, no other numbers like 2, 3, 4, 5 in base 2. Because base 2 only takes the numbers before 0 and 1. That's why. That's why in base 10, the same idea that we only see that 0 to 9 in all of our numbers. But we will not see A in our numbers, right? Because it is base 10. Okay? So with the same idea, let's go to base 8. For base 8, the same thing. We will circle the number 8 here and we will draw a line here from 0 to 7. 
and 0 to 7 are the numbers in base 8. Okay? The numbers other than 0 to 7 will not involve in base 8. Okay? So it might be combined just like base 10. It might combine. Something like 1 combined with 0 become 10. But it will never use the numbers 8, 9, or A, B. Okay? We'll learn more about this later on. And base 5. Base 5. The same idea. We will not see number 5, but only the numbers before it. 0 to 4. Okay? Base 6. Circle number 6. Only 0 to 5. And of course, for base 16, you see here, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And you know, this is 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and this is will be the 16. The G will be the 16. But because G is a 16, so we will use the number only from 0 to F. And of course, in base 16, we doesn't call A as 10, but we know it as it is 10. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay? So again, let me just repeat. Only the line number that uh, will be involved in the base. Okay, again, for example, base 5, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And those numbers that you will not see in the base 5. So for example, we look at base 5, it always starts with like this, 0. The next number will be 1, 2, 3, 4. And the next number is not 5, but it will become 1, 0. Then the next number will be 1, 1. 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4. No 1, 5, then 20. Okay, that is base 5. This like when, but when we come back to base 10, it will become 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Then we doesn't have A, but we come back to 1, 0. That's the same concept here. And just for your information, look at here. This 0 in base 10, okay, this is base 10. Base 10. This is base 5, are the equal same value. The 0 in base 10 is the same thing as 0 in base 5. And the 3 in base 10 is the same as 3 in base 5. However, when we go up to here, look at here, 5 here. Remember, the 5 in base 10 is the same thing as a 10 in base 5. Okay, or 1, 0 in base 5. That's why when we look at a number, something like um, maybe 14 in base 10 might not be the same thing as 14 in base 5. Okay? It might be the same at first, but not the same at the back. Okay? So you need to always be aware that the conversion between bases are actually very important. Okay? Just yeah, just like looking at this way, six will be equal to eleven. Seven in base ten will be equal to twelve. It will be the equivalent to base the thirteen in base five. This will be the same. This one will be equal to the same thing here. But of course, you don't need to remember all this because we learn how to convert in the following lesson here. Okay, so let's learn how to convert. So I try to divide. It into two main things, other bases, of course, other number bases, which means that 2, 8, 5, 6, 16, yeah. And base 10, the main number that we use, the number system we use is base 10 here, okay? So we learn to so first learn how to convert from other number bases to 10, then we learn how to convert from base 10 back to other number bases, okay? Okay. So now the question is how to convert? How to convert from other bases to base 10? Okay. The the reason that I able to categorize it into other bases in the same thing because the 
idea of converting to base 10 is similar. Whether it is base 2 or base 8 will be the similar, okay? That's why we're able to do it here. Okay, do you still remember that I mentioned that before learning number bases and computation, it requires our knowledge in Hindu Arabic numeration system, which we learned in the previous video. So in the previous video, we learned about, okay, if it is 662, then we know that it can be 6 times 100 plus 6 times 10 plus 2 times 1. And we can get the idea of 6 times 10 square plus 6 times 10 plus 2 times 1. That's what we learned, right? And we recorded this as Hindu Arabic, uh, Hindu Arabic numerous. And we also call this as the expanded form. That's how, that's what we learned in the previous video. And now we use the same concept to convert the other bases into base 10. Okay? So this is base 10, right? So, Remember, okay, this is 100, this is 10, and this is 1, okay? Why this is 1? Because this is 10 power of 0. Why this is 10? Because this is 10 power of 1. And why this is 100? Because this is 10 power of 2, just like you can see from here, okay? Okay, so, so we always remember when, when the number is given here, 662, just remember, this is 0, this is 1, this is 2, okay? That's why it will become 10 power of 2, 10 power of 1, and 10 power of 0, which is equal to 1, okay? So, when if you are still ab not able to understand, it's okay. We will try the questions and you will get the idea. So, look at here. The questions given here is 100, zero, zero, one, zero, one, 2. Okay, just look at here. Let me just write it bigger here. 100, zero, zero, one, zero, one, with the base of 2. Again, remember, if this is base 2, the numbers that involve is only 1 and 0. Okay, and remember, just now I told you, right? 0, 1, 2. We just put the number up here. 0, 1, 2. 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, that's all. But do you still remember that? Why? The reason why that here is 10. Why? Why here is 10? Why are we using 10 power of 0, 10 power of 1, 10 power of 2? 10 here, 10 here, and which is 1 because of 10, 0. It is because we are using base 10. And now the same concept here. If we are using base 2, we'll be using 2 power of 0, 2 power of 1, 2 power of 2, 2 power of 3, 2 power of 4, and 2 power of 5 here. So it will become here. 1, because it's 1, times 2 power of 5. Why 2? Because this is base 2. Why 5? Because we know that it's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And plus... And of course, the next one will be 0 times 2 power of 4. And because it's 0, so it will be in 0, right? So we will skip this one, skip this one, and come to this one. 1 times 2 power of 2. Again, why is this 2? Is this is because of base 2. And why this is power of 2? Because this is the 2 here. Plus 1. 1 times 2 power of 0. So, just do as the same thing here. 1 times 2 power of 5. So, 2 power of 5 is equal to 32. So, then 32 times 1 is equal to 32. 2 times 2 is equal to 4. 4 times 1 is equal to 4. 2 power of 0 is equal to 1. 1 times 1 is equal to 1. 
and we can get the idea that it is 32 plus 4 plus 1 and it is 37 base 1. Now, remember, what we are doing is changing the bases, changing the base to base 10. So this is base 10. Okay? And we can get, okay, basically you can write the whole thing here. Write the whole thing here, okay? And the answer is 37 base 10. Okay? I believe that the idea, the concept here is kind of easy if you master it in the previous video. Okay, okay. And let's try the next one here. 110011 base 2. And now, of course, we need to change it to base 10. Don't need to think about anything, just follow the first steps, right? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Why we need to write this one? Because actually you need to understand the concept. This is 1, this is tens, this is 100, right? 1, tens, 100, okay? But this make it easy that we write all the numbers up there so we don't need to think too much, okay? And that's the first step. The first is 1 times 2. Why is 2? Because this is base 2. Power of 5 plus... 1 times 2, power of 4, then 0 and 0, we can skip it because we be 0. 1 times 2, power of 1, and the last one, 1 times 2, power of 0. Okay? So 1 times 2, power of 5, you know it is equal to 32. 2, power of 4 times 1, you know it is equal to 16. 1 times 2 is equal to 2, 1 times 2 power of 0, which is equal to 1, 1 times 1 equal to 1. And if you can plus it together easily, 32 plus 16 is equal to 48, 48 plus 2, 50, 50 plus 1 is equal to 51, and this is base 10. And just remember, the idea of changing here is similar throughout the bases, okay? As long as you want to convert to base 10, you'll be using the same idea here. Now, let's try base 5 here. Again, the same idea. We'll write here 0, 1, 2, 3. And we can start. The first one, 3 times, because this is base 5, that's why we need to put here 5 and the power of 3. Plus. 4 times 5, the power of 2, plus 2 times 5, the power of 1. Or if you want to write it, it's okay. And the next one, 2 times, because this is 2, times 5 power of 0. And of course, you know it is equal to 1. Okay? If you want to write 5, 0 is the same thing here, okay? So now, you need to know how to get the idea now. So 3 times 5 power of 3. So or you can say 3 times 5 cubed. Take out your calculator. So calculate 3 times 5 cubed. And you can get the idea it is 375. Here, 4 times 5 square. You know 5 square is equal to 25. And you know 25 times 2 is equal to 100. Okay, then you get the 100. 2 times 5 is equal to 10. And 2 times 1 is equal to 2. So now, try to calculate. Add up 375 plus 100 plus 10 plus 2. And you get the answer is equal to 487. 487 base 10. And we are done with the questions here. Try the next one. 4726 base 8. Exactly the same concept we can use. Just that the base are different. So 4 times 8 power of 3. 8. Why it is 8? Because this is base 8. Plus 7 times 8 power of 2 plus 2 times 2 
nope, it is 8 power of 1 and plus 6 times base 8 power of 0. Of course, you can write 1. And now try to add it up. So 4 times 8 power of 3 is equal to 2048. 2048. 7 times 8 square is equal to 448. 2 times 8 power of 1 is equal to 16. And 6 times this is 1 is equal to 6. So try to add up. 2 for 2048 plus 448 plus 16 plus 6. And you will get 2518. And this is base 10. Okay, because we are converting to base 10. And now we face some difficulties here when we go to base 16. So just do a quick revision. Base 16, numbers are in WAF is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Then we go to A, B, C, D, E, and F. And just to give you an idea, although we don't call A as 10, but we know it is 10. We know this is 11, this is 12, this is 13, this is 14, and this is 15. Okay? So now, when we look at this idea, E, we know this is E times, oh, okay, I forgot to put it in 0, 1, 2. And we know E times with. 16 power of 2, 16 square, plus C, so C times 16 power of 1, and the last one, 7 times 16 power of 0. And we know that E is what? E is equal to 14, so 14. Okay, just look back here. E is equal to 14. So 14 times 16 square, Plus. And how about C? C here is 12. So 12 times 16, power of 1, plus 7 times 1, okay, basically. And we can calculate what's the iron, the iron bar. 14 times 16 square is equal to 3584. 3584. 12 times 16 is equal to 192. 7 times 1 is equal to 7. And when we add up, 3584 plus 192 plus 7 is equal to 3783. And this is, of course, the power of 10. I mean, the base of 10. Base 10. It's kind of easy, right, when you get a concept on how to convert back to base 10. And of course, the same thing here. AD4 base 16. Don't think too much. Just write here, 0, 1, 2. And now, just write, it will be A times 16 power of 2 plus D times 16 power of 1 plus 4 times 16 power of 0. And now, we need to figure out what is base, uh, what is A here. A here, we know it is actually 10, and we know D is actually 13. So we can just straight away actually write here. 10 times 16 square plus d is equal to 13 times 16 power of 1 plus 4 times 1. And when you calculate 10 times 16 square, it will be 2560. 13 times 16, it will be 208. 4 times 1, it will become 4. And it will be 2, 5, 6, 0, 2, 0, 8, 4, it will be 2772 base 10. And that's it. It's kind of easy, right? When we're able to calculate all of the things, when we know how to form the expanded form here. Okay, remove the idea here because we we'll, we might face it in the next uh, next topic too. Okay? Okay? Once we get how to convert to base 10, and now we need to learn how to convert from base 10 to other bases, okay? Now, just now we learned about 
what bases? We learn what base 2, we learn what base 5, 6, 8, 16, okay? No matter what it is, remember. As a, we learn about 2, we learn about 5, we learn about 6, we learn about 8, we learn about 16. No matter what base is it, remember. The key two things that we need to know is we need to divide and we need to find the remainder. Okay? For example, if you want to convert from base 10 to base 2, we divide by 2. If you want to convert to base 5, we divide by 5. If you want to convert to base 6, we divide by 6. Of course, the rest, 8, will be divided to uh, 8 and 16. And now, how about the remainder? The remainder will be depending on the question, okay? So, no need to be thinking too much. Let's try the questions and you will know how to do it. Okay. Okay, now we are converting from base n to a given base, okay? So, when you look at the first questions here, saying that 26 to base 2, okay? Remember, how we divide? 26, we divide by 2. Okay, 26 divide by 2. So 26 divided by 2, what is the answer? We know it is 13, right? And 13 times 2 is equal to 26. Do we have remainder here? No, right? Because it's exactly 26, so we know there's zero remainder here. And let's divide. 13 divided by 2. So what is the answer? Okay, we know that 13, if we divide by 2, 6 times 2 is equal to 12. And we have 1 as remainder. So it will be 6 and 1 as remainder. How about 6 divided by 2? 6 divided by 2, we know 3 times 2 is equal to 6. Then we know here is 3, and we have no remainder here. And we continue again. 3 divided by 2. And 3 divided by 2. So 1 times 2 is equal to 2. And the remainder here is 1. So divided by 2, it will get you 1, and the remainder of 1. And when, to, when you know you need to stop, is when this, the number that you need to divide, is greater than the number you should be divided. Okay, so as a matter, this should be divided by 2, right? But now this is bigger than this one. This is bigger than this one. That's why you need to stop here. And when you stop, write in this way. 1, 1, 0, 1, 0. So that will be the answer. 1, 1, 0, 1, 0 1 1 0 1 0 1 1 0 1 0 and because we are converting to base 2 that's why we divide by divided by 2 and so that's why this is 2 and we are done okay so let's try one more question the number 2 again 51 and now we need to change it to base 2 that's why 51, we need to divide it by 2. And we know that 51 divided by 2, okay, you, you can write in this way, 51 divided by 2, then we know that 2 times 2, 4, um, uh, 4, then 1, then 1, then 5 times 2 is equal to 10, then 1. And we can write here, 25, this is remainder, right? And so here will be 1 here. Of course, if you are familiar with the division, you don't need to think in this way. You can feel free to go straight away to get the idea, okay? And 25, 25 divided by 2. So again, 25 divided by 2, 1, 2, then 5, then 2 times 2, 4, and 1. So we know this is 12, and this is the remainder is 1. And 12 divided by 2, you know, is 6 with no remainder. 6 divided by 2, you know, it is 3 
without remainder and 3 divided by 2 you know a is equal to 1 and with 1 remainder okay if you're not familiar with the division to get it straight away feel free to put it do it manually or you can just use calculator found the answer and you convert to fraction and you can get the idea okay and now once you get it you can know the answer from this one up to here so you know the answer here is let me just write it up let me just write it down here okay you can you you, you need to write it in the box but let me just show you here it will be one one zero zero one one with the base of two okay and let's try this one two seven six three to base five Two seven six three, because we need to change it to base five, so we divide it by five. So, of course, again you can write do it manually, but let me just show you what I did usually. Okay, five is bigger than two, so skip twenty seven. So you know five times five is twenty five, so twenty seven minus twenty five is equal to two. And go to the next one. 2, 6 means that 26. So 5 times 5 is equal to 25. So 26 minus 5 is equal to 1. So 1 is left here. Then 5 times 2 is equal to uh, 5 times 2 is equal to 10. So 13 minus 10, which is remainder 3. That's that's what I did, okay? Again, divided by 5. We know this is 55, and we know this is 11. And we know 5 is bigger than 2, so 0 times 5 equal to 0. So 2 minus 0 is equal to the remainder of 2. Yeah, if you don't familiar, feel free to do the manual way, okay? You get exactly the same answer. So 110 divided by 5, we know that 2 times 5 is equal to 10, with the remainder of 1 here, then... 2 times 5 is equal to 10. So this will be 0 remainder. And of course, when it becomes a smaller number, it will be easier. 5, then 4, it will be 20. 22 minus 20 is equal to 2. And look at here. We are stopping here, right? Because this number is bigger than this number. So going up. And we know the answer will be 4, 2, 0, 2, 3 with a base of 5. And we are done okay so let me just go through it and just get the idea and try to practice practice and practice and you will get the idea on how to do this so three four 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 we want to change it to base six that's why we divided by six okay so six times five equal to 30 so 34 minus 30 is equal to 4 so here, 4, 4. And we'll get it as 7. 7 times 6, 42. So 44 minus 42 is equal to 2. And we know that 6 times 4 is equal to 24. So there's no remainder here. Okay. So 5, 7, 4 divided by 6. So again, so here will be 9, 6, 54. Then here will be 34, and it will be 6, 5, 30. So here will be 4. Okay. So 95 divided by 6. So there will be 1, 6, 35. So it will be 15. And here will be 5. And of course, easy one, when we come to smaller number. So 2 times 6. 12, 15 minus 12 is equal to 3. And we stop here because 6 is bigger than 2. So I'm going up. So 2, 3, 5, 4, 0, base of 6. Let's go to the next one. 3, 6, 5 to base 7. Same thing. 3, 6, 5, base 7. So uh, this is, of course, remember this is base 10. You need to convert to base 7. So divided by 7. So 7 times 5, 35, 
36 minus 35 is equal to 15. So 2 times 7 equal to 14. So 15 minus 14 with the remainder of 1. Yeah, by 7, 7 times 7, 49. 52 minus 49 is equal to 3. 7 divided by 7 is equal to 1 with the base, with the remainder of 0. So that's it. 1, 0, 3, 1, base 7. Okay, so 1, 5, 9, 9 to base 7. 1, 5, 9, 9. Now we need to convert to base 7 divided by 7. So 2 times 7, 14 with 1 remainder here. Then 2 times 2, 14 with 5 remainder here. Then 8 times 7, 56, 59 minus 56 with the base, with the remainder 3. So again divided by 7, 3 times 7, 21. Then 2 with the base 4, uh, remainder 4. Again divided by 7, 4. 7 times 4, 28. 32 minus 28, and the remainder is 4. So you get the answer is 4443 base 7. Okay, I hope by now you get the idea on how to do it. Okay, 299. Okay, feel free to pause the video and try to do it and get the answer, okay? So 299 to base 8. 299, now you need to convert to base 8. So it will be 3, 3 times 8, 24, here will be 59, and of course 8 times 7 it will be 56, 59 minus 56 is 3, divided by 8, 8 times 4, 32, 37 minus 32, 5, 4, 5, 3. So the answer is 4, 5, 3, and this is Bay 8. And of course, come to base 9. So 1, 3, 4, 6. So base 8, you need to convert to base 8, so divided by 8. So 1, 8, 8. So 30 minus 8, 5, 54. Then 8 times 6, 48. 40, 54 minus 48 is equal to 6. And 8 times 8, 64. 66 minus 64 will be 2. And divided by 8, it will be 21. Then with a no remainder. Divided by 8, by 2, it will be 16. So 21 minus 16, it will be 5. Okay, now we stop here because this is bigger than 2. So the answer will be 2502 base 8. And we come to the last questions in this video. 428. Now we need to convert to base 9. Okay, so we divided by 9. So basically, the concept is repeating here. So 9 times 4, 36, and here will be 6. So 68, then will be 7. 9 times 7, 56, 68 minus 9, 63, then 9 will be 5. Okay, 9 so be 5. 9 times 5, 45. So 47 minus 45 is equal to 2. 525 five. and that's 5259. Okay, so it is kind of easy, right? So that is the concept how to convert from base 10 to other bases, and of course, the previous one from base from other bases to base 10. You might think, huh, what we need to use this for? And of course, you can use this for something interesting, right? When you want to send a password to someone, maybe you tell them, okay, uh, the password is in base 10. Maybe, maybe example, your password is 1599. But of course, you don't want to make it so obvious when you send it to your friend. Then maybe you can just send it 4443. You just send them 4443. Then you say, this is base 7. Okay, if you want the password, you convert it to base 10. No, that's interesting, right? And that's how you make it yourself professional in the first way. And of course, 
this number bases is not yet finished and we still have computation where the number bases are involving in plus minus multiply and division and we will learn that in the next video and take a rest and if you have any questions feel free to comment below and we can solve it together so be safe and let's watch the next video okay thank you